A few weeks ago, my fence heard a rumor about a particularly valuable scepter that was awarded for meritorious service to a City Watch captain named Godfrey Knighton. The captain's scepter is told to be of solid gold, with ornate jewels and diamonds. In other words, valuable materials we can break up and sell separately without drawing too much attention to ourselves. Last few days, I've been monitoring the good captain's luxurious manor, which is located just north of the city gates. An easy place to sneak in during the dark of night. The manor's security seems lax. An archer by the main door, a few guards patrolling the grounds, and a couple of servants. It shouldn't be difficult for me to sneak in undetected, grab the scepter and other loose valuables, and get out unnoticed. It's getting dark make my move as soon as darkness falls. This is going to be a rather simple night, with the exception of better than normal booty. Hello, and welcome back to the Dark Mod. Well, here we go on the Thomas Porter adventure. This time, it's the first one after the, the zero one, so I guess first level, the other one was a prequel. I, I don't know how this actually fits together just yet. But, Knight and Manor, obviously, because we're going after Knight and Scepter in his home. Title is applicable, I think. Anyways, what do we have? Killing, no killing, you're not a murderer, don't kill. Uh, oh, two knockouts for difficulty. Yeah, we'll go with medium. So, what do we gotta do? Steal Captain Knight and Scepter. Steal 3,000 loot. I don't know why it says hard there. I, there's really no reason for it to do that, but okay. You're not a murderer. Don't kill anyone. Didn't plan to. After you're done, return the way you came in. How much you think... How much do you think this is not going to be as easy as we let on? Definitely a rope arrow. Mm -hmm. Breath potion. Hold! water yeah this is gonna go just fine uh, get some water arrows noise maker what okay, we need one moss arrow or rub arrow moss 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 noise moss nice sounds good let's do this ooh cutscene Is this just me climbing over the hedge? This is kind of motion sickening me. Hmm. Same. Hmm. What is going on up there? Is he having company over? What's going on up there? Oh, they're drunk. Just drunk guests, or? I'm glad I listened to them. That was a lot of valuable information right there. The gate is soundproof. That's good to know. Wonder if it's scream proof. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ooh, that guy's got some money. Money, money. Money. There we go. Let's see if we can get that loose change. Yeah, it's gonna take forever for him to come around, isn't it? Come on, man. Where's the fast forward button on this ride? I'm gonna fast forward this movie. 
Oh God, sorry everyone. I was just sitting still for... Crap. So long. Huh? Means I get to situate myself every now and then because my, my knees hurt like a lot. Hi. There you go. <sighs> just because my knees hurt so much. Just God, ow. You mind cutting off the knees there, bud? So much easier if you just cut off the knees. Please, you wouldn't mind. What? There he is. Like this guy doesn't get seen when he comes through and I can knock this guy out. I hate lantern guards. Hate with a capital hate. Damn it. Get up, you bastard. What? I'm gonna put a hole. Fine. We were both in the dark. Do you know it, sir? Nye. That's all I have to say to him. It's nye. Come here, friendly. Yep. I put him behind the well. Well, let's see if this works. Why am I wiggling back and forth? Seriously, go away. Help. Ow. Ow. Help. He's coming after me. Oh, I am. There we go. The fucking thick head on this one. Going Gardner. All right, you come with me and you give me all your money, please. Sorry, I had, I, that was a lot of violence that you saw all of a sudden, but let me rest you assured that he, he deserved it. All the, that is a crappy well. I mean, what do you fill it up with water? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you fill it back up with water? Kind of defeats the purpose of a well, doesn't it? Ooh, mushrooms. Wouldn't these be in a dark place? Squishy. Hmm. Well, that's that. You can either have shutters or window with shutters always open. Can't have both. Apparently. Creepy looking gargoyle over there. What is I'm, I'm hoping this is just a pond. Eh? Nothing. Ooh. I love how water arrows naturally form. Like the whole thing, not just the head, the whole thing just forms, forms underwater. Makes sense to me. Why is only one lit? Hmm. Possibly a puzzle, or also possibly not. Well, I mean, if you're gonna rob the dead, you might as well rob the dead, right? Not like they're gonna use it. They might curse you forever with bad luck. Or, you know, um, try to eat your face, or... There's a lot of things that they don't do to keep their shit. Also, it could be a lock. That's all I have to say to that malarkey. 
you gonna come running over here so I can knock you out? That's An very intruder. kind of you. Oh, no, you're not. Ha! Ah, gotcha! Well, that sucks. I, don't, I guess I'm just gonna fit it in there. Because it's not something I can frob. It is not an ob I can frob. No matter how much I try to frob that ob. Alright. Let's climb in through the window like a burglar. Like a common burglar. Yep. Well, we have to check. I mean, it goes down. Well, start on the lowest level. Ow! I broke my leg on shit. You know, gross. I think you might need to empty this a little bit. I, why is there a bathroom underneath the bathrooms? And it's just, there's no way to empty out the, what? Okay. Hi everyone. My name's Boylag. I'm here to take everything you hold dear. No need to get up. I can find my own way around. Ooh, bread. With a note on it. You stinkers left me no bread yesterday. This is me bread. Anyone eating me bread gets this here dagger showed in your guts. You better be right here where I left it when I get back from my watch, Maggie's. Ralph Piggott. Eat the bread. I really want to eat the bread right now. I, I want. Can I please eat the? Can I eat an apple? Mm, apple bread. I sucked. Wanted to eat the bread. Don't wake up now. Why are you putting boots? In, ooh, and other things. Don't wake up. Boots near boot locker. Who? Does something like that. One of those a gas arrow? But yeah, man, you shouldn't sleep on your money pouch like that. You're gonna hurt your back. So uh let me help you there. Ooh, got a note. Attention guards. I will not tolerate drinking or sleeping on the job. If I'll find anyone doing so, everyone will be punished. Captain Knighton. Well, you all um, probably find that eventually. You hiding a carrot? No. No carrots. No hiding food or drink. There we go. Sleeping on the job, huh? Probably the night shift or morning shift. Or a shift that isn't a shift right now. Snake it right from underneath. Like the professional that I is. Anybody else have a money pouch problem? Doesn't look like it. Have fun now. I am so surprised I didn't wake them up. Stairs to go up to stairs. Stairs that done go up. Upside or sideways kegs are the worst kegs. Those aren't right ways up. Right ways up ones are the ones that you can drink from. Right? That's how that works? Not much of an alcohol person, so I wouldn't know. How you doing? Why, why are you sleeping over here by yourself? You snore? You stink? Ooh. You drink? You drink. Gotcha. Any good stuff? I just want to borrow it. You can have it back when I'm done with it. You know, after I've sold it. That's when you can have it back. Ah, now these are the kegs that are the good kegs. Captain Stout, Builder's Finest Porter, McGinnis's Fine Ale, Bridgeport Drought. Now that sounds like the cheap stuff. What the? Oh, God. Glad I probably should have looked up first. Bad water. The well water is bad. Don't drink the water. Drink lake water instead. This room is now used for storage. Is it now? I said, is it now? There we go. I swear I heard somebody. Uh -oh. 
Ah. Shh. Yep. Well, well, well. Now, why would you just throw things all willy-nilly around like this? I mean, they're not wrong. The water is bad. Unfinished letter. Dear Mum, I've now been working for the captain for a few months now. I'll send some silver coins with this paper and more later when we get our pay. The man is really big place. The biggest I've been a servant in so far. The captain said strict is strict and does not like much fooling from us servants. Most of the other servants are nice, but you do remember that Ralph Piggott, the guard I mentioned in my last letter? He truly is the worst kind. I saw him steal from the kitchen. I saw him take the bottles. I know he stashes them somewhere in the cellar junk storeroom. Many bottles of valuable wine. And last time me was cleaning the cellar, I heard him snoring behind some boxes and crates, sleeping on the job. He wants reports to him to the captain, but I don't know. The captain give extra coin to those who point out foolings among others as workers. Ratting out Ralph would mean nice extra silver for me to send and probably get him sacked. Though that would clear the air nice around here. But he scares the rats out of me. He'd be the kind of man who could do anything. Maybe I'd tell the captain. How could Ralph to, or others find out it was me? He probably can't even read. I send some silver coins along with the letter once I get to visit the big city. Love, Simon. Seems like it's finished. And so is Simon. I'm so sorry, Simon. Dude. Simon, settle down. So, it, it, it sounds like somebody... Uh-oh. Well, I'm glad I... But I have a rope arrow. It sounds like somebody be drinking on the job. And I need to seal his wine and maybe get him in trouble somehow? I don't know if I can do that. That's horrible. I'm sorry, Simon. So... Hmm. Would that be in here? This isn't really... The, it's converted, quote-unquote, into a storeroom. Can I not kill him? I mean, it'd be really nice to kill him and then stuff him down into there. I mean, I don't really want to be a murderer, but if I was, this guy deserves it, right? That's how that works. More stairs up. Ha! Storeroom. Storeroom, ye says. Now, where were you hiding all of these bottles? Don't tell me it was like one bottle in a boot. Oh, no boot wine here. Um, there ain't nothing in here. The funk. Uh. Maybe there's a bigger storeroom somewhere? Ooh, what is this? Ooh, this is a big vault system of some sort. Uh, I don't want to touch it until I know how to use it. But yeah, say hello to Simon. He's a shitbag. He's actually supposed to be working right now. <laughs> Shut up, Simon. Sit down. Nobody likes you. You murderer. Where'd you put the wine? I'm gonna take the wine. Be lucky I don't kill you, because I just want the wine. Oh, 
So I slipped bad. Oh, dude. Crap. Looks bad because it is bad. Hey, dude. I'm gonna open this door instead. Seriously? Yeah. Sorry, that was me holding my breath and uh, walking on my tiptoes. It hurts a lot, but I do it because it makes me visible. Apparently. Huh. And that knocked him out this time. Okay. Let's see if there's anywhere to dump him. Yeah, there is quite a few more guards than the intro led me to believe. Oh, uh, why is this locked so much? Lead outside? It does. Come here, good sir. Ooh, right over by my body pile. How nice. It's a big fucking body pile. And you don't need that, do you? Thank you. <laughs> All right. I. Yo, what the hell was that? I was trying to look around the door, not shove my face into the door. You washed those real good. Didn't even scratch the gold. And that's hard to do. <gasps> oh, I can't take the bread. Nobody wants me to eat any bread on this. Why is that? Ooh, what do we have here? Hey, me heard the captain invited some of his pals to the manor tonight. Well, the noble drink their fine wines. They don't probably notice if we have some of our own for in uh, the servants' cabin. Ten silver coins buys you in our game. Winner gets everything. Me, Jack, and my brother Estes from City Watch is also coming. Do not tell Ralph or other guards. We don't want their cocky attitudes, Walt. Or, you know, their murderous intentions, either. They are quite murderous. I wanted the thing with the ting. Yeah, give. Thank you. What was this? Attention service. The ballroom toilets. The guest room. And the library are only for visitors. Underlings go to the servants' toilets in the cellar or outside, but not near the mansion. If I see or hear any one of you in these rooms doing anything else than cleaning, everyone will be punished. Illiteracy is no excuse. Captain Godfrey Knighton. Illiteracy is no excuse. What? So the fact that you didn't know is not an excuse. How does logic what? I, my brain hurts. It quite hurts today. Hey, this is where I came up. The scepter. I see the scepter and a balcony. Ooh. Okay, not doing anything here till we clear the balcony. That's the front door. Well, in this room, fine. <laughs> Mind coming over here, sir? How kind of him. <laughs> you went all wiggly. Just go downstairs. We can dump you downstairs. Ha ha! Just dump you down here. Or there's already a body dump made by somebody else. It's a little creepy though. So, yeah. You've been warned. Do yourself a favor though. Look down there when you wake up. It's uh, kind of fucked up. Just gonna say. Huh? Huh? I 
hate it. Me? It was me. Go <laughs> ahead. Oh, I didn't hear nothing. Shut up. Just this guy going all wiggly. All wiggly piggly and shit. Why don't you come down and see what I done? And uh, like before, just just look down here when you wake up, please. There we go. Huh? Uh huh? No! No! Well, this is going completely according to plan. Just as I foresaw it. Now I have multiple body piles. Anything on you? Besides almost spiking me in the face? Yeah. Let's close that just in case. I'm assuming this goes outside. Yes? Yes? Come on, don't leave me in suspense. Seriously. If it goes outside, I guess this makes sense, but still. Open! Yes, it goes outside. Alright. Hello, boys! What do we have here? While protecting the city, Captain Godfrey Knighton, you have received the recommendation for the Mark of Honor for protecting the city for your heroic actions during the quarantine and inevitable purging of Tanner's Ward. Jesus Christ. The city council. Well, how much sterner? Stern enough to realize that you've been robbed blind. You gonna come down here? Nice metal you got there. City Watch Godfrey Knighton. I don't like your face. Can I cut it? For protecting the nobility, Captain Godfrey Knighton, your resourcefulness and stern actions in the quelling of the pest peasant riots, pestilence, wow, riots has earned you the mark of honor for protecting the nobility. The City Council of Bridgeport. We see where his loyalties lie. Definitely not with the people. As you'd think it would be. Thank you for the medal. City Watch Captain Lannister Knighton. A long line of Knightons. For honorable service, Captain Godfrey Knighton. For your excellent service record and great leadership in the City Council, the, the City Council rec recommends the mark for honor of honorable service, the City Council of Bridgeport. Godfrey? Was Godfrey good and Lannister bad? No, never mind. Godfrey did all this shit. I didn't know if it was separate. That's why I wanted to look. I didn't know if it was that whole Daddy done a good job. Son was an asshole. There we go. Not bad. I like my work so far. But... I think I'm gonna leave it here. So, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. See if you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag. Signing off. You can. Oh go. Close the damn door, please. Oh God, it scared the crap out of me. Wasn't expecting that. Come in! I mean, don't come in. <laughs>